Hello there and welcome back to another fantasy draft video. My hat looks pretty uneven right now. Oh well, it is what it is. I never used to wear headphones when I recorded videos, but now I feel weird not doing it. So it's like they have to be on almost. So the theme of today's draft is going to be teams that have an animal for their team name basically. So yeah, the wild for example don't count because although their logo is a bear, they're the wild. I mean, that's not a specific animal. I mean, animals live in the wild, but yeah, that's not what this is. So let's randomize a team here and let's just keep it going. You know, um, I will actually get into fantasy. So this time it's uh, just kidding. Wait, really? What are the odds of that? Apparently pretty good. I think I have all the right settings here. I've been really screwing those up recently. So yeah, I guess a double check doesn't hurt. Are we going to get a draft position in the twenties again? Most likely that's well, actually, yeah, there it is. 25, of course. Okay. Well, Let's see what we can do here. I think we've had some successful drafts at this position, so maybe we'll be okay. Uh, the Bruins count, so we could take Bergeron. Do the Predators count? Because, I mean, I don't... that That's a tough one. I don't know if that counts or not. You know what? No, it's not like a specific animal, so no, I'm not going to count it. We won't say that, because like a Bruin is like a bear, I guess. Um, the Panthers is a panther. So now the question becomes, do I want Barkov or do I want Huberto? And I feel like I've taken Huberdeau in the past more than I've taken Barkov. So I'm going to I'm gonna go with Barkov here. He's only making 6 million, which is insane. I forgot that we pretty much get, well, not back-to-back -back picks, but kind of close. I'm trying to change it up a bit here. So I'm going to take Chitrin. I sorted by potential. And yeah, I mean, normally we always draft a lot of old guys. So we're going to try to switch things up a little bit here, which I've been doing recently in general, but yeah. Let's grab Chris Letang from the Penguins. 87 overall. 7.2 is a little steep, but we'll make it work, hopefully. I, ooh, what about goaltenders? Yeah, let's check. Uh, Flurry can't take him. Nope, can't take him. Can't take him. Nope, can't. <laughs> nope. Oh boy, this is not good. Does the Kraken count? I'm, I'm going to say no, but I'll leave that up to you guys to, uh, <laughs> you know, decide in the comments. Reimer's with the Sharks right now. He's on a cheap deal and he's 84 overall. So I'm going to grab him. Lindholm plays for the Ducks, 85 overall, 27 years of age, and he's on an all right contract. So that is our third defenseman already. We only have one forward so far. That is not looking good. Raquel is also a Duck. So 85 overall. That's another great pickup. I'm going to be real. I didn't even know that Duclair was on the Panthers. Um, but yeah, that is a very good player to grab and we also need left wingers as we have none so that is optimal taking a lot of ducks but let's just stack up on defense because why not Casey DeSmith is on a very cheap deal as well 82 overall Penguin that is a good player to grab and we are in dire need of forwards we have one line so far and we already have our top two defensive pairs and our starting and backup goaltender I don't know how this happened, but it has. Let's grab another penguin here in Kasperi Kapanen. I'm kind of hoping we can grab both of these guys, um, Zucker and Hornqvist. So let's grab Zucker first, and Hornqvist should still be there next round. Yes, he is. 83 overall. And that will be... Uh, is that our third or... Yeah, it is our third right winger. Okay, so we are lacking in the center department. That's for sure. Another duck. Sorry, not sorry. 83 overall. Get on the team. Kevin Shattenkirk. I'm sorry, but $3 million, 83, taking another uh, a vet here at the age of 36, but um, Getzlav, we need centers, so yeah. Craig Smith as a Bruin, and right wingers are, well, I, I mean, he's probably play either wing. He might even be a center slash right wing. I don't even know, but either way, it's a good player to grab. So now we need one more defenseman. And four more forwards, and we are as good as done. Another Panther, Jumbo Joe, centerman. I don't know how I say no to that. I will not pass up this Boston Bruin this time. Nick Foligno. I mean, um, how much cap space do we have left? Probably like 14 million or something like that. 13.2. Uh, and we have three more picks to go. So we're in a decent spot. From the Arizona Coyotes, we could take Dezingle. So that means we need one forward, one defenseman. And this draft is ready to participate in a simulated NHL season. We'll just have a winger play center. I'll take Achari for now, and then we just need a defenseman. Let's go with Matheson. We have the cap space, and we are... Yeah, we have we have a lot left, actually. Like, we are well within the cap, so that's nice to see for once. We weren't 
cutting it super close. Let me just double check. So, yep, we have the whole team. Let's sim the entire draft and go put the lines together. So right here, this is how our draft went, if you were curious. I wonder if D Krebs is related to Peyton Krebs in any way. I'm always interested to see what the chemistry will be like on the team. I don't know why, but it's, it's always just a cool thing to see what you can actually get. But I don't want to touch the lines because every time I do, I could literally have fives down the board. And the game will be like, no, nah, your team sucks. This is the best lines it gave me. I'll take 2020. I'll take 2020 for offense. On defense, we got 201. That's okay. Ooh, if I move Shattenkirk down, then it becomes a plus two down there as well. But then Matheson has to. Oh, mm, I don't think I want to do that either. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make that move. Mm, no, I'm not. You know what? Screw it. The team, I'm just best lining because apparently they know best. So I'm just gonna leave it. And then Reimer and DeSmith. So, I believe we are good to go. Let's um, get simulating and find out if this team's going to be any good or not. I'm going to say Barkov gets the most points with 80. And then I'll say that we get 44 wins. That's my guess. We're off to a pretty good start here. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. So, unless we have a spontaneous collapse, not ruling that out. It's definitely looking like we are on playoff pace, but uh, it's this simulation engine. Honestly, you never know. I could go and lose 30 games straight. Who is on the trading block? I don't really want to make moves because our team's actually killing it, but yeah, let's just see who's here anyway. So Spurgeon, uh, we've got Hurdle. We, mm, should we should we maybe try to grab Hurdle just because why not? It might not hurt. All right, so uh, Manson as well. Could be grabbed by us. Okay, let's see if we can get Hurdle. I don't know, you know, who we'd get rid of for him, but I'm also just going to hope that this doesn't really screw anything up. I mean, <laughs> that line is plus... Okay, I'll, I'll send this through. If it doesn't go, which I don't think it will, I'm out. I'm just done, all right? Proposed trade, trade rejected. All right, too bad, so sad. We're doing good. I'm just going to let our team run. 44 wins was clearly not the move because we are definitely getting more than that. We're already at 43 and we have two and a half weeks left of games. And there it is right there. We're already at 47. Oh my word. I never would have thought this would be a 50 win team. I Clearly I don't know what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I think that was a 50 win season. So stop simulation. Let's go have a look. Yep, 50, 25, and 7. And clearly defense wins championships. Because Barkov had the most points for us and he had 63. So we finished with 107 in the entire league. Only the Panthers beat us out. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, are you kidding me? 52 wins for them. Congrats. Let's see who the lowest team to make it in is. Is it just top 16? Oh, no. 17 stars. Sucks to be you, Flyers. Okay. Well, anyways, let's go have a quick look at Flowrider's lines because I'm curious. And also, check out some of the stats here. So, uh, plus 10 and 63 points. Plus 24 for Latang with 62. Patty Horns, 53. Jumbo, 53. Let's go. All right. Yeah, not bad at all. I'll just go to the bottom here and see the whole roster. And I pressed the wrong one. Goalies. We've got Reimer, 35, 12, and 5 with a 923 and 225. And then 15, 13, and 2. Six shutouts for Reimer, too. And a 915, 243. Let's check out the entire league, shall we? Boom. All right. Grubauer had 39 wins for the Flames. And Price, who was the Florida? Oh, Gibson. There you go. All right. 930 for Price. Or sorry, Grubauer with a 215. That is nutty. All right, well, let's check out the skaters now. We got Crosby with 99 points. No one broke 100 this year. Sebastian Aho with 95. 92 out of Matthews. All right, who has the most goals? Let's actually sort by that. Boom. We get 48 from Hattie Kane. He will get the Rocket Richard. And just because, let's check out defensemen quickly just to get a spotlight on them here so there's the top defenseman time to check out the florida panthers line so they got perron larkin and hall that's a good first line uh blaze i still really don't know how to pronounce his name hitil or something but yeah he's there as well and then kane so their offense is like it's okay on defense they got sanheim mccarr doughty i don't understand this game i really do not sure gibson's good and all but i don't know where the rest of it is it's a solid team but it's nothing insane. Maybe their chemistry is off the charts. Let's simulate the playoffs though and see if we get eliminated in the first round, which is very likely. Oh, never, yeah, game seven. Are you kidding me? Yes, we actually made it through. All right, I thought we were gonna be done for sure. 
Round two, we are moving on to the conference finals against the Calgary Flames, who go down, and now we have the Panthers in the finals. Wow, all right. That's insane. And, ooh. All right, you know what? Let's actually, let's jump in here. No, not play game. Let's sim game. Florida, Minnesota. Game number six, Stanley Cup Finals. 1-1 one, one after 1-2-1. One, one. All right, let's get that simulation speed up to 8 and see how this third period goes. Hull ties it up early on. Power play for the Wild, and we don't capitalize. Oh, boy. This is... Even o Oh Boy Man is coming out in... What's it called? Franchise mode as well. It's clearly not just be a pro. Three minutes to go. 2-2. Two, two. Are we headed to overtime? No, we are not! Barkov, you legend! Pushed a game seven last minute. That is insane. Let's check out the three stars. There you go. We have a game seven against the Flow Rider Panthers for the Stanley Cup. I can't believe we've actually made it this far. I knew our team was going to be okay, but I didn't expect us to be this good. So we got Barkov going up against his former team. Simulate. Here we go. First period. Love it. Second period. Let's go. Are we actually going to win the Stanley Cup right now? I don't want to jinx it, but holy smokes. They only have nine shots. We are clearly a defensive team. Just shutting other teams down. Yeah, it's looking real good. It's looking real good for the Wild. I'm just going to say it. Stanley Cup champions, baby. We, we actually won it with the Animal Draft. That is bonkers. Fire me vertical. Boom! There it is. Here's the three stars of that one. James Reimer. What a performance from the kid. Getzlav and Kapanen as well. Love to see it, so... We don't need to check our lines because we already know our lines. Or I guess the roster because normally you can't view lines at this point. But yeah, 27 in 26 from Barkov. So we did get some more offense going in the playoffs. Player stats. Have a look here. So yeah. And then Raquel was point a game. Duclair with 21. Getzlav 20. Great stuff. How was Reimer overall in the playoffs? 16, 7, and 3. 5 shutouts. 9, 11, 2, 40. Not bad, Jim. All right. Yeah, let's um, not look at the awards, apparently. I'm not allowed to do that. I just had to simulate ahead a little bit more. So let's go to the awards. And the Wild are Stanley Cup champions. Presidents goes to Florida, as we saw. Bada boom, bada bing. All right. Art Ross goes to Sydney the Kidney. Sebastian Aho with the Heart. Hedman with the Norris. Sebastian also gets a Lady Bang. Raymond with the Calder. Barkov with the Con Smythe. Going home with some individual trophies as well. Uh, Grubauer with the Vesna. Jennings goes to Gibson. Roy gets the Bill Masterton. Barry with the Jack Adams. Bergeron with the Selkie. Sebastian just cleaning up this year. Gets the Ted Lindsay. And as we saw, Patrick Kane with the Rocket Richard. So let's check out the playoff tree. There it is, guys. Love to see it. What a performance. And yeah, thanks for the suggestion. It was a good draft and all went well. This, is, this went way better than the original six one, which was kind of my own fault. But I mean, we just left out one team. You know, it's not that big of a deal. But I made up for it, as you saw in that video. So... Yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other suggestions, leave them down below. And yeah, just uh, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.